Yeah, this is 20 years I've been doing this and I, it just grows and grows and grows. I'm grateful. I love you guys at home. It's so incredible. You're a top boy. Oh, wait a minute. Don't ruin my new decade, right? Come over here. Okay, here we are, um, 2020. New year, new decade, new start, new, 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 new a lot of things, basically. I'd like to start by saying I hope that all of you, each and every one of you, had an amazing New Year's celebration and that you were surrounded by people that you care about and you had a good time. And if you weren't surrounded by people, then that's okay. If your New Year has started off pretty poor already, then things can and will improve. But my New Year's celebrations were spent in Blackpool, of all places. I spent it with my friend Georgia, Georgia the editor, and her boyfriend, Brad, and her family, and it was amazing. It was, quite honestly, the best New Year's I've ever had, really. Um, it, it was really, really nice, and uh, 2020, the decade of the 20s, has already started off amazingly for me. I'll also have a little sort of Blackpool vlog coming out because uh, we went out into Blackpool town and uh, we were filming stuff uh, but I'm gonna send the footage to my friend and he's gonna edit it for me so you know I'm just dripping in editors. Dripping? Is dripping the best word I could have used? The turn of a new year and the start of January always fills me with hope and optimism because it, it, it is just a nice way to bring about change in your life. I was having a conversation with my friends the other day about how you can start resolutions and goals whenever you want in the year. You don't have to wait until New Year's to do it, but it is just a nice, convenient way to, to bring about some change in your life. And um, every year I do try to make some resolutions and goals for myself, and I rarely sort of follow through with them completely, but um, I just wanted to tell you some of my goals and, uh, you know, things I want to do in 2020. So one of my main goals for this year is just expanding my film knowledge and experience. I'm a film student, in case you didn't know, and I don't know a lot about film still. I know a lot about what I want to know a lot about, so screenwriting, and I have a very set sort of genre of film that I enjoy, sort of drama, coming of age, romance. Those are the genres that I enjoy. But when it comes to branching out and seeing more, I don't really do that. I don't push myself as much as I could. So uh, this year I'm going to try and watch a new film every single day, or more films, because I don't do that a lot. Towards the end of last year I downloaded an app called Letterboxd, uh, in which you, I use it to log the films that I've watched. So. I can, every time I watch a film, I'll log it, add a review, and it's just a nice way of keeping track of what I've seen. I've made a list of films that I think I should see, and every day I'll open up a random number number generator, and uh, I'll just watch whatever film correlates with that number. Uh, so it could be quite interesting. I'm already a few films into it, uh, but by the end of the year, I'll make a video on the films that I've seen, and which ones I've loved and which ones I've hated, and I think it'll be a really interesting thing because then I'll be able to see more films. I'm also trying to get more set experience because uh, it turns out I also really enjoy producing so I'm going to try and produce a few more short films this year and I'm also uh, assistant director on a, uh, a student film which you'll find out more details about soon uh, because we start filming uh, at the end of this month actually so yeah. But another sort of big goal for this year is that I'm kind of vegetarian now. I suppose if anything I'm more pescatarian but uh, for the most part, when I'm at uni, I don't really eat meat. I don't eat meat because it's expensive. I realise that I don't really miss meat as much as I thought I would. It comes more from a place of just wanting to be aware of what I'm putting into my body and aware of the environment and what I'm buying in regards to that. So it's, uh, yeah, I've sort of 
not, I've sort of been a vegetarian for like a few months now, but going into 2020, I'll be actively just eating better. I'll also start going to the gym uh, on campus. We have a gym on our uni campus and I've been talking to some guys on my course and we're gonna help each other make a routine and everything. And I think that by going with sort of more professional, educated gym people, <laughs> I'll be more likely to actually sort of stick up, stick with it and uh, follow through. Because although I have tried to exercise in the past, I never really completely follow through with it. I always end up backing out. But to be honest, that is pretty much all I have planned for this year. This is just going to be a year of fun and not worrying as much and just enjoying everything that life has to offer. So I hope that all of you have an amazing year, an amazing January, and that you just you just sort of enjoy the 20s because I see a lot of good things, I see a lot of great things happening, not just this year, but this decade. Yeah, I'm in a very fortunate position where I'm celebrating my 20s in the 20s, and yeah, it's just a good time to be alive, so enjoy it. But yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. I've been Luke, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.